So I am standing here in our little animal memorial and I'm looking at this stone, the Steve or Adam stone. And I just think that Steve or Adam or whoever's looking down today is gonna be real happy with what's going on here in the pond behind me. Can y'all see that? Looky here, folks. Adam or Steve has a couple of friends. He has finally met some of his own kind. Oh, sheesh. Photobomb. Photo bombed by the farm ducks. So you guys who have been following his journey knows that Adam or Steve lost his partner. Uh, I'd say at least, it's been at least a year. And since then, he's had a couple of friends show up. But uh, nothing seems to work out right for him. I'm laughing because I see the way Adam or Steve's doing his little neck thing. And, uh, man, I'm just so blessed. We, we have reached some people. Uh, I say we have reached. The page has reached people who have fallen in love with these babies. And they love them as much as we do. And their hearts just broke knowing Adam or Steve's little story. You know, losing his his own partner. And then there's been a couple of babies showing up over here that he's tried to buddy up with. And he's lost both of them. It's sad. But, um... Have y'all ever noticed that there are some folks who experience... I don't want to say loss because it's not always loss. But some folks seem like they really do have a, their own fair share of bad luck. I don't even know if you should call it luck. But no, Adam or Steve is that guy. He has just really had a rough go. And it seems unfair that life treats them that way. I hope that this over here is just a reward, though, that he's... I don't want to say a reward that he's earned. Because losing somebody is, is you know... I don't really know where I'm going with this. But I think that you know what I'm trying to say, even though Lester can't find the words to say it. It's, uh, I don't want to say when one door closes, another one opens either, because it's not like that. He's lost his best friend when he lost Steve or Adam. And then he's lost a couple of friends. He's actually lost, you know, since then. And then it just breaks your heart for him but, you know, animals just like us, they have to, they learn to cope with loss. And it would just be really nice if these two ladies here work out well for him. And he ends up finding his forever, happily ever after with these cute little chicks. They're quite a bit younger than he is. You can tell just from their size. I don't know exactly how uh, big female Muscovy ducks are going to grow. I've never, I'm not really a duck person, folks. I mean, you already know that about me. I'm not really a feathered person at all. But, uh, I tell you what, if, if there's one thing that has not been more evident, uh, with these animals, especially with him, is the fact that animals have every bit the emotions that we have when it comes to things in life. I mean, you can see their excitement when it's time to eat. The same way when you call your kids for a snack and they come running down those stairs or come around that corner. You know, we have seen some issues. Well, they have such personalities. We have seen jealousy, you know, with some of our babies. Well, think about Tex when he popped his red yoga ball the first time 
and the emotions that went through him. So now seeing Adam here and knowing he's had to overcome some loss, not once, not twice, but three times, is just really, really heartbreaking. I mean, even as I sit here and I look down, there's still signs of our most recent loss. And so it, it's sad. It's sad that we lose them. But, um, I mean, we've all come to grieve in our own different ways, I guess. But living on a farm, it makes you sort of understand that death is just as much a part of life as anything else. And I don't guess we take it as hard. Losing a loved one is losing a loved one. No matter who that loved one is. But animals teach you just to... It's just all a part of the cycle. It doesn't make it easy. But I think it does help you cope. However, like I was saying, some do not have to cope as much as others. Because uh, there's animals we have here who've never lost anybody they've been close to. And there's others who've lost many. So, anyway... Don't mean to get philosophical here, but it is nice seeing him sit there. He has a couple of friends finally. And uh, I love that because he deserves that. And for any of you that are going through a tough time in your life with not so much with loss, but with anything. I hope that you can always remember that there are brighter days ahead, folks. And for you guys who are, you know, living on top of the world right now. You better also understand that life is a roller coaster. You better appreciate these moments. You better thank God for the things in your life because I can promise you things will not stay as, you know, perfect forever. Because life just doesn't work that way. Ups and downs, folks. Ups and downs. I guess you can say at this point I'm just fascinated with these little ducks. I guess I'm just so happy for this little guy here. Adam or Steve, man, he is really enjoying spending some time with his own kind. He's a, he's a protector, folks. Look at him. I hope he'll let these girls know that I'm, I'm not a threat, that I actually am a provider <laughs> it's funny though if you notice so these uh this kind of duck over here how they all stick with their own kind so i don't even know whether I, okay so way over there i know it's hard to see but those over there are mallards or mallard ducks and of course we have our geese. Here we have our Muscovy ducks. And then I don't really know what you call those kind. Uh, just can I just call them farm ducks? Just farm ducks. Those are just your typical quack quack ducks that you know everyone knows about. When they picture a duck, they picture those kind right there. I don't think most folks, when they picture a duck, they don't picture a Muscovy. They don't picture a mallard. No, they just picture these little farm ducks. So I don't know what, if they even have a type, a name. I'm sure they do. And I'm sure someone's going to let me know in the comments what they're called, their official name. But I'm just going to call them farm duck. Yeah, they're just little farm ducks. God forbid I'm bringing some hay out to the uh, pasture. And uh, Adam or Steve is so worried about me messing with his girls. And he's running out there to them to protect them from this horrible man. Stranger danger, ladies. <laughs> Stranger danger, run. Adam or Steve, that's horrible. No, he just went up to eat. 
and uh, Jamie's feeding all the feathered babies and uh, the girls are new so they didn't want to go they weren't quite ready yet and uh, as soon as I start driving over here he takes off and hauls butt over here just to warn them of well what I'm calling stranger danger even though he doesn't know that I'm actually his he needs to let them know that I'm their friend I'm a source of food I'm your human babies you should learn that. I'm one of them. Stranger danger, ladies. <laughs> Stranger danger, run! <laughs>